But hey, what's up, Tech Nation? So, let's talk about the Nexus 6. So if you haven't heard this week, Google announced three new devices. You got the Nexus 6, the Nexus 9, the Nexus Player. Now the Nexus 6 is the one I'm focusing more on in this video because that's what I'm really interested in. It comes in both 32 and 64 gigabyte flavors. It's got an Adreno 420 GPU, a Snapdragon 805 CPU with 2.7 gigahertz of processing power. It's got three gigs of RAM. It's a powerhouse and it costs like a powerhouse should cost $649 that's a lot of money and a lot of people have been tripping about this on the internet because the Nexus before this the Nexus 5 was $349 and this Nexus is $649 that's a big difference but what you get with this Nexus is amazing stuff like all the specs I just said earlier and you get a, what, a quad HD display come on now I won't say I will say it, it's worth the price. It's steep, but it's a flagship, and it's what a flagship should cost. The Note, the Note 4, you got the iPhone 6, 6 Plus. It's in flagship territory, and it costs like a flagship should cost. But with that said, there is no denying that it is pretty expensive. But I'll still get one just for me and for you, and I'll post some videos later on when I get my phone sometime in November. They go on pre order October 29th, and no, early November they'll ship them out. I can't remember the exact date, but if I figure it out between now and when I edit this and put it up, I'll put a little note in the video. Now to run down some more specs, it's got a 13 megapixel rear facing camera with a f2.0 lens, um, 2 megapixel front facing camera, and hopefully it should shoot some nice photos. I'm expecting it to shoot some nice photos. HDR Plus is on there and everything too, and it runs Android Lollipop. Almost said L. So the Nexus 6 will be the first phone running Android Lollipop and you can expect Lollipop to trickle down to more Android devices later on in the year and early next year when manufacturers get their hands on it and put their skins on it. Yeah. Now on to the battery. This phone's battery is pretty massive. It's 3,220 milliamp hours and it's expected to run the phone for a good 24 hours. That's what Google's saying. That's what Motorola slash Google are saying. and That'd be pretty interesting. So it also has this super fast turbo charging mechanism feature that Motorola's put into the phone and after 15 minutes of charging you can get about 6 hours of battery life use. I'm telling you if this phone lives up to what Motorola and Google are saying it's going to be, it's going to be fantastic. So when can you get the phone? In early November and pre-orders start October 29th. But this year's Nexus it's available all over the place. U.S. Cellular, Verizon Wireless, T-Mobile, AT&T, the Google Play Store. I mean, am I missing another one? Sprint. How can I forget Sprint? See, I got my information right there. It's going to be on all the major U.S. carriers and available unlocked at the Google Play Store. So as you can see, I'm pretty freaking hyped about this phone. And I can't wait to get my hands on it. And I'll be doing a bunch of videos. So just subscribe to the channel. Keep you posted. Uh, leave a comment because this is a let's talk video. I'm going to do more of these videos when phones and devices get announced because I want to know what y'all think. Let me tell me what you think about the Nexus 6, the Nexus 9, and the Nexus Player. Leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Follow me on Twitter at TMBlogOfficial. Why is my phone ringing? I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!